COVID-19 antigen rapid test device. Some parents might recognize these in Ottawa right now because uh, this is what came home from school. So let's see what's inside of here and how simple or not this is. Right, we have one, two, three. We have a little tray. And then we have five of those because we have five. And then we have uh, intended uses and some instructions. Some instructions. <laughs> And then this is the uh, real instructions, just a little card here. It's quite, quite simple. So before collecting the sample, place the extraction tube into the tube stand so it stands up straight. So here are our extraction tubes. Let's get one of these bad boys out and we'll put it in here. There we go. Step 1.2, gently mix the extraction buffer bottle. Oh, here's the extraction buffer bottle. We have five of those in here as well. Now, uh, empty the entire contents. Gently mix, okay, so is this gently mixing? I don't know, is that gently mixing? It's probably gently mixing, right? So let's see, can we open this? There we go, and put it in here. Okay, that looks like it's everything in there. All right, and I guess this can go into the bin. Now there's two options here. We can either do a nasopharyngeal swab, no, thank you. Or we can do a nasal swab, which is probably a little bit easier for the kids to do. So remove the swab from its packaging. Here we go. We got five swabs here. That's our swab. Lovely. Anyone who's done a COVID test will recognize these. Uh, remove the swab from its packaging. Have I got the right end there? Yeah, got the right end. Make sure you got the right end. I think you have to open it at the right end, so that's okay. There we go. This can go in the bin also. Tilt patient's head back 70 degrees. Insert the swab through the anterior nares into contact with nasal septum at least 0.5 inches inside the nostril until mild resistance is encountered at the middle. Using a circular motion, the nasal orifice should be swabbed for a minimum of five seconds. Compress the nostril with the fingers to trap the swab tip and rotate the tip for a minimum of five seconds. So that's 10 seconds it thing needs to be in your nose for. Remove and repeat with, with the other nostril with the same swab. Oh goodness, okay, so we gotta do this on both sides. It's gonna be 20 seconds maybe to do that. So we have to tilt our head back 70 degrees. That's, that's about 70 degrees, I'd say. Five until we res resistance. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then you're supposed to pull it out, I think still holding your nose and then we'll go in the other side and we'll go one two three four five not terribly comfortable one two three four five and take it out okay there we go uh remove repeat step three insert the swab with the collected specimen into the extraction tube swirl the swab mixing well Squeeze the swab 10 to 15 times by compressing the walls of the tube. Okay, so here we go. So we'll swirl it. We're swirling. We're swirling. Mixing well. I don't know. It's a proper little science experiment here, isn't it? Okay, squeeze it. So let's see here. Take this out and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, you want to get as much of the stuff from your nose into this liquid, I guess, is the whole idea here. So with the swab still inside, securely place the extraction tube upright into the tube stand and let the swab stand for two minutes. Oh, okay, so 10.50, it's been two minutes. Remove the swab while pressing the swab head firmly against the inner wall of the tube to release as much liquid as possible. Dispose of the used swab in accordance with the appropriate biohazard waste disposal protocol. I don't think very many of us have those yellow containers in our homes, but you know, there we go. So I'm gonna squeeze all the juice that I can off of this thing here like that. There we go, try one more time. 
I'll put this back in here like that so we can put it in the bin. Now attach the nozzle to the extraction tube. So there's two sides to this. So obviously you want to have the thick end down. Now there's like a little thing in there. It looks like a little filter maybe. Invert the tube and add three drops of the extracted solution into the sample well of the test device. So here is the test device. Let's see here. Oh, watch out for the silica gel. Do not eat. Here is the test, um, test device. Here's the test device. Okay, so we uh, C and T. So here we go. One, two, it looks like it's going down in there, but let's see here. Three. Okay. And then we'll put this back in here. So now we wait 15 minutes. You can see it's a bit like a pregnancy test <laughs> that it's changing color here as the solution is moving up inside of it. Now, if we get two red lines, then I've got COVID and we've got, we've got a problem. <laughs> and uh, if we get one line, one line is, you know, what you want. You want one line on the C. Um, that's what you want because that means that your test is negative. And if you get only one line on the T, then your test hasn't worked properly. So let's wait 15 minutes. So in the time it took for us to make a nice cup of coffee here, we have our results and yay, I don't have COVID. Uh, we have one line on the C. If there was another line on the T, then uh, we'd have to go get a PCR test to confirm that and isolate while we wait for the results of that. Um, but it's really not that hard. So use your tests for your kids over Christmas and hopefully they'll all be able to go back to school in January.